Donny Hathaway. Okay. Can you say Donny Hathaway? That's my Give man. me something, man. <clears throat> For all we know, we may never meet again. But before you go. moment can you make it sweet again yeah we on boss talk one-on-one one -on -one. yeah we gonna talk it's Go over now yes to this song wow. that whole stretch Whoa. what's the difference danny boy i always ask these crazy right. questions like what's the difference in that danny boy to that, that, to that yeah. this song guy it's over now, written and produced by Babyface. I'm yeah. grateful for that, obviously. I can tell that you're worried. It's written on. Um, just around death row, you know, th those are my growing years. You know what I mean? Finding myself mm -hmm. as an artist. And I, I knew that I could sing. Um, I, at that time, I guess I didn't know what to do with it or you know, when to put this chop here or, or there. So a lot of stuff that I probably hear when I was younger, I'd be like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that. I'm cringed by it. But um, the growth, I call it Death Row University mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. first. I learned a lot from Death Row. And to take that and to get into master's classes, so to say, oh. these struggles along the way. Uh, I sing about things that I've went through or experienced and, uh, that's close to me. Uh, this Black Heart album, you know, just it means the same thing as the red emoji of a black uh, heart, or the red uh, emoji heart, I mean, love. Uh, the Black Heart, of my album is why I named it that, because uh, I believe in black love. Um, I, I don't believe that, you know, just out of living this life, everything isn't going to be great all the time. Wow. You know what I mean? Even in love ship, friendship. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? My, me and my best friend, we, we, we're not going to agree and be on the same page. Me and the love of my life, we're not going to be on the same page. The, the part is, is how do we make it through? How do we get to the next page wow. or to the next chapter? Wow. And, and to be able to sing about that now, uh, certain things I just wouldn't sing, like songs I wouldn't, even with rappers. I, I'm not a part of certain songs and I've done that already. Um, I, I'm, I'm grateful for the gift that God has left me with and sustained. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty careful on how I use it. And, mm -hmm. and with that, um, over the last year from releasing the album, uh, I made it to top 10 on the Billboard. Yeah, awesome. I've seen that. Uh, man, congratulations, man. How does Thank that you. feel to be back in the mix uh, like that, man? Oh, uh, man, to, to, to be forgotten for so long. And, uh, man, I, it's, it's overwhelming when I'm out in the crowd and I'm singing the song sometimes and I see people singing the words to it. Wow. You know, to know that, wow, I'm, they're finally paying attention to me. Uh, you know, I, I had that little f f five, 50, f five to 15 seconds on AM Attitude, and to get that attention, that two minute and 30 second attention is amazing, and to hear it on the radio. And we just dropped another single called Just Friends. Tell me, baby, did you ever, ever have feelings for me? Baby? Mm. From the album, and um, I'm getting a lot of love, so mm -hmm. I'm just. You know, still not where, because I'm. I'd be like, oh my God, when the promoters gonna start calling? I'm ready to sing and ready to go out. Yeah. So I'm, I'm still waiting for a, a lot of those parts to connect. But I'm grateful um, for so many years to have passed and to still be able to. You know, I feel fresh. Wow. You know what I mean, I feel like I could sing. I have the energy, and uh, I'm ready to do it. So thank you so much. Man. I have one last question. It ain't gonna be the last because I got my. Go ahead. Last. I do <laughs> R and B because you know people. Some people say R&B is dead, right? Yeah. Um, do you think R&B, because growing up in the 90s, all of that, R&B was like, to me, the peak. Like, I love yes. R&B. Yes. Will R&B ever come back to that point, like what it was? I know Cycle goes around and come back again. Do you think it's going to ever come back? Uh, and yes. when? What I, will it take? I think that we're on the right track uh, with R&B coming back. Uh, is definitely on the on on the uprise. Um, on, and 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 I guess, well, I'll say it like this: uh, the worse, unfortunately, the worse off that we are in the world, it seemed better for R and B. 
than gospel uh -huh. because people need that healing in mm -hmm. R&B music and soul music blues uh, have and gospel has always served as a as a piece of healing for people you know when people was working in the cotton field there were songs that they sang to make them get to the next day uh, I'm sure the guy that's sitting in the cell there's a song that he sang every day to help him count those calendar years um, I don't know if the happy birthday song would be as exciting if it was just a letter and not saying Right. So for us to get back to that moment, we're going through so much in the world where, you know, that song is needed. a lot of that healing. Wow. And a lot of people is searching for healing. And uh, I'm not saying that a rap song can give you that, a poetry can't give you that. But you got to go to one of them Luther records, to the Marvin Gaye records. Man. When you deep hurt in love, mm -hmm. you go to those records. You said something that I laughed about when you said that. Suge Knight said you should have been and came out. Yeah. And if you had a came out and did some of the things that he told you to do, you would really blow you up. He told, he's like, he's like, man, see, you bullshit. See, you let Lil Nas take your shit. <laughs> I'm on the phone. I'm thinking he's going to be mad. He's like, man, Lil Nas took your shit. You supposed That's to come funny. out. funny. He's like, I'm going to tell you what you should do, though. <laughs> Suge's always a planner, That's man. That's hard, uh, man. I, 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 um, Speak with him every now and then. Uh, yeah, that's my, cool. My phone line is open to him. That's good. Forever and a day. That's and, that, and how so is that, he doing in there? He in jail. I know. He is in jail. That's. Crazy. I think he's comfortable. That's what I was trying you know, to see. He might be comfortable. He doing a podcast or something. Got a podcast going. He's probably. How can you like have a podcast? He's got a podcast there. going. He was doing Collect on TMZ call. the other day. Really? Collect calls. Yeah. Uh, have you been on this podcast? Wait, yet? Not yet. He's gonna have to pay me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pay podcast, me. And he man. really got to pay me. Oh, man. He's, he, he definitely, but y'all loyal to one another, man. You was with him as a kid. Don't That's mean I won't get with Snoop Dogg. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Snoop. You, you'll rock out with the new Death Row? Man, I'm so excited about this Death Row thing, just the possibilities, because I feel like it's unfinished business. It's a place that, you know what I mean? I, I was there. And I, I, I definitely want to be home. That's home. Uh, I want to finish some. Un I know some records that was left in the vault. Yeah, I can't. I would love to get in the vault. And, yeah, and uh, everybody knows Snoop is a part of everything. Top three, top three artists of all time, dead or alive. And we're Any him out genre. Of here. We're getting him out of here now. Mm. That's that's the wind down. Donny Donny Hathaway. Okay. Can you say Donny Hathaway? That's my. Give man. me something, man. <clears throat> For all we know. We may never meet again, but before you go, make this moment, can you make it sweet again? We won't say good night. Man, you so talented, bro. Thank you, man. God, dog, Thank man. You. God, done bless you, man. Yes, Where did you get that time from? Your mom, your dad? Uh, so my, mother, my mother was a singer. Boy, and she, she said poetry. And I just think that uh, God left me with the responsibility of the talent. Uh, yeah. So I have her voice and my aunties. I come from a singing family, so you gospel. killed that, bro. Oh, Give wow. me the second this is one, bro. Strength. I gotta get the second. That, 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 that made me forget Thank about you. my top three. <laughs> yeah. But we're coming back. Okay. I need the next one, so, number two. So Donny Hathaway, um, you killed Stokely that. Williams of Stokely Mick, Williams. of Mick Condition. That boy bad. Oh my God, that's that's my mentor. That's like who I look up to. That's the one that said we fell in Pre love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From yeah. The yeah. yeah that yeah, nigga that. bad. Negro, See, I went band. to their concert one time, so I, I was hurt behind their concert. I was, I was, I was with you. That, you went. You it, really was, no. it, it was the music. So, so man, can I tell you no. what I think? Drowned the man. I think too, no. You know, he's a musician. Uh, a, a musician's musician, so yeah. to say. Like he's like for another artist. Like he'll probably just be crazy in there. But then I've been in the in the concert and I seen some of the stuff, and I'm like, wow. 
only a musician would sit here mm. for. It's like it's too musical and man, too many, But when Pretty Brown Eyes and that was cold. Oh, yeah, on. I like that. one of my that favorite. What kind of man? I'm gonna be honest with you. The reason that night, Kim clowned that night with me. That's the thing, because I look Kim, Kim, Kim a beast, my, man. Well, that yeah, night. Yeah, he can tell, he can tell a story. I like sleeping, it. man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was just He's too. He's so talented. And, and yeah. who, I think it was Charlie Wilson was and there, And Charlie too. Wilson. Oh, wow. So it was a wild I blend. I love me, Charlie it was a wild Wilson. Blend. Oh, wow. Man, so. And my last one. Uh, so we got Stokely of McCondition. Uh, Donnie Hathaway. Who was that last one I always heard? Stevie Wonder. Steve Wonder. Oh, yeah. You the daddy a true musician. The daddy man. of music. You've you met him? True, uh, I met him once, but um, I met him once when I first signed to Death Row. But since I released this single, he showed me a lot of love. Uh, shout out to the station awesome. in, in LA. Wow. And uh, I was calling into the station to speak with someone on the radio. And she was like, um, he a voice is something. He's like, man, this song, man, this song is incredible. And I'm like, thank you so much. And da 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 da. And the lady was like, uh, that's Mr. Stevie Wonder. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> whoa. Now. And he talked on the interview, on the phone with me for about 10, 15 minutes. That's awesome. That's hard, it was just to, just to hear the stuff that he was saying. Thank about you, Danny. That bro. probably made, that's, ooh. It made me want to sing much longer, so y'all got to deal with me. I'm here. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.